blood, gore, and zombies. Many boys' favorite things about video games. They get to simulate real-life action events, and they get to relax on their couch while doing it. However, many people are starting to believe that this is the reason for various school shootings and sudden murders in America. Video games are helpful, though. The facts show that the crime rate has gone down, and video games are keeping harmful kids and people out indoors instead of causing trouble. Based on a recent study of crime rate and violence, this year is the best year for crime ever in the history of the world. The experiment was conducted by Evan Dushevsky, and he looked at uh, data of death tolls and crime rate in America. Since the start of the gaming era in 1992 with the release of Mortal Kombat, game sales have steadily increased and crime rate has, has gradually decreased. Violent crimes have also dropped over 12% since 2008, and video game sales have tripled since then. However, how could video games be leading to real-world violence if the fat statistics are contradicting each other immensely? They can't. It's impossible. And many people and many people are just worrying of the content of the video games because it might be too violent for their kids. Video, some, for some video games, adults over 17 have to purchase the game for the kids just so they can play it. They're giving their approval right when they buy it. Some video games might be harsh or violent, but they can also be very educational and cause crime rate to drop. Video games will stop a person from committing crimes. If they're addicted to a game, which they can be, then they'll constantly want to play it. That means they'll always have the game on their minds so they aren't thinking about anything else. Even if they get really hooked on the game, it's better than thinking about real-world violence. Lots of young and growing boys have aggressive tensions. If they can release it when they're playing the games, then they won't want to carry real-world violence. Another article showed that the kids who are described as addicted to playing video games play over 10 hours per week. With that much time, effort, and thought on video games, there's no chance that they'll want to commit real crimes after playing. They just want to play more and more games. Much of this data has been considered unaccountable for, and not actual evidence. Many people say that the, da the data is irrelevant to each other and it's just a coincidence. The data collected could have also been miscalculated, or it could mean nothing. And video games might still cause some people to be aggressive and they might want to commit crimes. All the recent killers who committed crimes in schools all, s all played video games. That's just a coincidence though. 91% of teen boys play video games commonly. Also, very few people are that aggressive, aren't satisfied with killing a TV screen, and want more. Also, uh, additionally, someone would have to be messed up just to want to kill someone because they saw it in a game. Overall, people can't be controlled or changed from a video game. There will always be people who have the urge to hurt, and that's not from a video game and allowing them to be played is perfectly okay. They keep crime rate low, and they keep kids indoors instead of causing trouble. The, ga the games help kids release stress by having fun, and they work their brain while they're playing. They benefit kids tremendously, which is why they should be continued to be made, sold, played around the world.